And we are back. Welcome back to the King's Report. Second King reporting live from the Chenningham Palace. Check out some of the footage, first only shown on the King's Report, of us training right after the international meeting with our hitting some AR iron rod training and hitting some pistol training. Here's a little clip from that the Queen shot of me uh, hitting, hitting the AR different positions, okay, to the sprawl position, <clears throat> sprawl side position to the prone position, to the kneeing, leaning position, and then to the regulation position. Now, I don't, anyways, anyways, okay, okay, ready, ready, let's see, ready, here we go. First view on the King's Report. <laughs> there we go. So practicing shooting from different positions. Now we practice is during the tactical CrossFit training and conditioning training. <clears throat> but now we're actually practicing with the actual live firearm. Practicing the safety on and off, all that kind of stuff. And of course, I'm just kind of uh, practicing an expanded and, and rapid rate of fire. You can I missed a couple there because I was pulling too fast. But these are all hitting here. You can hear the bling, 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 right? Okay, so that was 30 rounds. <clears throat> 30 rounds that fast. That's how fast 30 rounds pours out of that firearm. And it's so fast, <clears throat> and it's so controllable. Girls are much more controllable by it. Here's the queen. Go! She's going slow, because I told her, just go slow if you don't feel if she's uncomfortable with it. She's in a Kaskatami prone position. <laughs> she's in a Kaskatami prone. <laughs> That's kind of like a modified jujitsu <laughs> prone position. <laughs> She's supposed to jump to the side sprawl. <laughs> but it's okay, it's her first time with a live firearm. First time she's actually doing it different positions. And that's why I don't like going to the gun range okay, and just shooting, like position. standing up or sitting in a chair. That's so unrealistic. Go you gotta go, practice go, different go, positions. Go, go, go. You gotta practice go, go. even go. shooting upside down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gotta practice these different postures. Cause you don't know. When somebody's shooting fire, you may have to hit the deck and lay down and shoot, turn upside down and shoot around a corner, literally. So you have to be able to fire from different positions, why, which is the reason why most of the tactical training centers make you fire from uncomfortable, crazy positions. You know? Left foot up, finger off the trigger, get ready to fire. Put the, put the so we're gonna be at least training like this every week after international meeting. And so we get not only our empty hands, uh, you know, jujitsu and MMA training in. Not only we get our uh, knife training in and tactical uh, fit training in and other type of uh, weapon training in, but then we also get our actual live fire training in uh, at least every week. Good, nice, again. Now the queen has, she's actually left eye dominant. So she has to actually shift her face. So she has to get used to this. She can't just look at down the um, scope with her Put right eye. On this, on okay, she has to actually move her to left eye because she's left eye dominant. <clears throat> but there you can see her. So she's trying to adjust. She's not used to the air yet. But as she trains, she'll get better. She'll get better. So it's nice to see this. Um, but there she's looking super cute with her cute little plum colored Fjall Raven G1000 Greenland jacket. You're hitting him good. Good. There you go. Lean forward and tit. Ready That's the Fial Raven hat she got on the uh, trekking trip to color. Does she look amazing with that, that rifle? Okay, I'm sorry. There she goes. That was 10 rounds for her. Safety back on. All right, so that was, that's her just, Good, so she just here. gets used to training. There's a thumbs up, there's a thumbs up. Okay, that's so if she gets used to the training. <clears throat> Here's us doing a little pistol training. We just put two mags down, down range because a little bit every week adds up a lot, okay? So I don't want to burn her out by doing like, hundreds of rounds for, and she's so tired, but she doesn't want to shoot for the next six months. We shoot just one mag of the AR, and we shoot just a couple mags of the pistol down range. Now, we're, we're, this one, we're not shooting a steel target. We're shooting um, the uh, plastic bottle things. Next time, I'll get her to rotate around me so you can actually see what I'm shooting. Okay, and as the chief said, Practicing uh, changing our magazines out in the front, not bringing back in. Just changing our dropping here and changing out with the gun out. Okay. And also, I found a, oh, see that no flinch. You see that thing? That, that 
I had a, I had a, um, the, the, the uh, magazine popped out a little bit, I had to put it back in, and there was a click, but there was no fire, but there was no, no uh, flinch. You see that? <laughs> All right. And then this is the queen with a, a little better videography here because I'm shooting. <laughs> All right. Look how stable this camera is. It's amazing. I just shot it right on this phone. See how stable this camera is? Now she was having trouble because she was trying a new shooting technique with the both eyes open, as Chief taught us. And I'm starting to get the feel of that. Where you actually keep both eyes open and keep the sights in your peripheral vision and fire. Because Chief is saying in the real fight, gunfight, okay. you're not going to have time to aim okay. down the line and put line both sights up like you do at a shooting range. He said you won't have time for that. The one millisecond, you're dead. So he's saying when he's in Vietnam, the guy's shooting back at him, you have to literally keep your eyes on them. Boom, right there. Boom, like this. You have to keep both eyes on them. So she was trying, she was trying that technique, so she was aiming a little high. She wasn't used to it. But you have to use your peripheral vision to capture both sights, line them up in your peripheral vision while both your eyes are on your opponent. That's real self-defense style shooting. So our community has to train the gun, the, the, the gunners and the gunfighters in our community have to train in that manner because that is the real way you're going to train in a real live fire fight. You're not going to be able to aim like shooting down a range. There she is. She's hitting us. See, she's hitting the bu buckets now. Now she's taking a more, she's closing one eye. She said that helps a lot because she's used to that style. So she has to get also used to the style of two eyes open shooting. Because it is a different style. It's definitely different than gun um, range shooting. Very different. But I found it, you know, I, I, I started finding a group. I only did two magazines yesterday. So just maybe 14, 15 rounds with my through my pistol. At least just get some runs through it. Okay. Just get some runs through it. But I found like the last couple of shots, I was hitting everything. I, I, I found that, wow, it was actually, boom, you're just... Keep both eyes open, boom, right here, Bo boom. You keep both eyes open, boom. And your peripheral catches both sights up, but you're keeping both eyes on a, on a guy. Boom, you know, boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? You're keeping both eyes on a guy, and it's much more like real fighting. Like when you're boxing, you're not just, you're, you have to keep both eyes on the guy. You can't just keep your eyes off of them. You know what I mean? And you're using that perfect vision to capture two front sights which are lining up in your peripheral vision, but you're not focusing on your sights. You're focusing on your opponent that you're actually trying to shoot. <laughs> so, I mean, even the gunners in our community, we got to understand, we got to train like it's uh, in the realistic way, okay? And this is a technique that Ch uh, Chief taught us because he was Green Beret and, you know, Purple Heart and, you know, killed many commies in Vietnam. And he was saying it's the it's the battle of milliseconds because if you if you're sitting there trying to aim down your front sight and you can't you get a you get a blurred vision of your target. What's more important, seeing the target or seeing your front sight? You can't even. What if you can't get a clear picture of that person and it's blurry? It's blurry if he's even standing on an open field, let alone in a freaking jungle. My gosh, you gotta keep your eyesight where the enemy is, and so that's how Chief taught us to shoot. So we were practicing that technique yesterday. It was a little awkward at first because ne we never did it. <clears throat> but uh, now practice, I'm starting to get the feel. And, he, and by the way, by the way, he was a world champion pistol shooter as well in the, arm, in the army. In, his, uh, uh, in, his, uh, in the armed forces, he was a champion pistol shooter. So this is coming from a pistol champion and a Green Beret and somebody in Vietnam who had to literally gunfight every freaking day. And I tried the technique yesterday and it works. It works, you just gotta get used to it. It's different training than shooting down range that we're normally trained to line the sights up and keep your eye on the front side and close one eye. You can't, you don't got no time for that in a real fight, man. It's like saying, okay, uh, when you're boxing, close one eye and shoot this jab out <laughs> because it'll align with your right hand. Then when you cross with the other hand, line your left eye up and then you, you don't got time for that crap. You gotta keep both eyes open while punch is coming at you. Pow, pow, keep drawing counter punch. You don't have time for that crap. So this is good because Chief is bringing in this type of realistic shooting system and I love it I like it I put it to, to use yesterday trying to test it and uh, 
boy, I was hitting, I was hitting those bottles, man. I was hitting those bottles from maybe about 15 yards. I was hitting those bottles in real gunfights with pistols or five yards. All right. And I was, you know, five to seven yards. That's real gunfight range in, with pistol. All right. I was hitting them at 15 yards. Okay. And I was almost not even aiming. It's almost intuitive aiming. I'm just looking at the target, line, matching my sights up through my peripheral vision because I train my ninja vision. I always teach the kids how to train their ninja vision. Even in, in sword fighting, you have to train your ninja vision, which is your peripheral vision. You open up your vision so you can see everything around, up, down, all spherical, all around, even though you don't stare and look at it directly. But if you're looking at your opponent, you, you should be able to still see your sights down the peripheral vision, down your you know, uh, the slide of your gun, the sight down your sight, down your sight, your sight picture, but you don't focus on your sight. You focus on the opponent because that fool may be moving too in a real gunfight. That idiot may be running around ducking down. He may be hiding behind a bush. You got to keep your dang eyes on that fool. You don't have time to right eye open, left eye open, right. <laughs> uh, excuse me, sir. Could you stand there as I try to shoot you? Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Stay right there now. Okay. Right eye open. I'm aiming down my. Oh yes. Oh, you don't got time for that crap. That's why I hate normal range shooting. I hate it. It's so boring. It's so fake. It's like it's like it's so. It's not real. It's not real. Just like I hate fake martial arts. I hate fake gun training. It's supposed to be the highest level martial arts. You gotta keep it real. You gotta shoot from different positions. You gotta shoot from on your back, upside down. You don't know, you may get shot. You may be on the dang ground on one hand to get shoot. You got to keep it real. I hate this fake crap where every time you go, you're wasting time shooting that 30 minutes. Pyong, 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 pyong. Okay, and I get it. Of course you have to get used to a gun. And you have to get used to actually becoming somewhat accurate. I understand that. But how freaking long are you going to do that? How 20, 30, 40 years? Hurry up. Get accurate in a couple days. Get some training with Jerry Hines and learn how to just let that trigger compress and let the gun fire naturally and you'll be accurate. And as soon as you're accurate, you should be training in different positions. You'll be training with a little stress. You'll be training by running and doing powerlifting moves and then do your, do your uh, shooting. You should be training while moving. You see how even when we're doing pistol shooting, we're saying, stop, we move, boom, we move, boom, we move, boom, we move, move, boom, we move, we move, we move as we're shooting. Because you don't want to stand there, even the chief was saying, you don't want to stand there going, freeze, bam, 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 oh, you're going to get shot. If the guy's shooting back, you're going to get shot. <laughs> just like boxing, you won't just say, uh, stay there, let me punch you. The guy's going to punch back, so when he punches back, you got to move. And that's how Chief explains it. It's like he always uses the example of boxing. You don't stay still. When he was a Green Beret, he would use a running tactic. And he would run and shoot, run and shoot towards, you know, uh, you know a different angles of his opponent. <clears throat> so we, even gun training is so fake. But we have to be real in Chun Eagle. Chun Eagle has to do real martial art training. Real martial art training. So you gotta practice from all different angles. You gotta practice on your back. What if you get knocked back? What if you trip and you're falling backwards? And now you're on your back with your rifle. You gotta be able to shoot between your legs. You gotta be able to swing around and get to the side. Get to a fetus position and start shooting from the fetus position and then switch to prone. And then get back up. You gotta be able to do these things. What if you broke a rib? Now you gotta shoot with your left hand. You see what I'm saying? Or broke a hand or got shot in the hand. Now you got to shoot with your left hand. You got you to gotta expand the training sphere. <clears throat> uh, anyways, anyways, so people, you get a little... That's like the first time I've trained in the different positions. <laughs> because I'm always told, no, 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 it's so dangerous. Don't mean... Shut up! It's as dangerous as you make it. It's all in the mind. If you control that safe trigger, and if you control the safety, it's not dangerous. You do the movement, you control the safety, you have the finger discipline, and you shoot. And then you change your position, and then you put the safety on, put the safety, flick it back down, and then you shoot. <laughs> it's not dangerous. It's the mind that's blocking all this. So anyways... That's the kind of fun training, man. And, and honestly, 
Gun training is so much more fun when you can move around. It's so much more enjoyable and dynamic and cool. Not because it's trendy, it's because it's what real gunfighters have to do. I'm not saying I'm a real, I'm not saying that insulting the other people. I'm like I'm a, some kind of real gunfighter that fought in Vietnam or that. I didn't, but I, we learned from people who did. You may have to shoot from multiple positions. Like for example, this, this whole set right here that we do in the different positions where we sprawl and then shoot from our side. We do this in high repetition when we do the tactical CrossFit training. We do this, but we do this obviously with, with no gun. But we do the positions, different prone, we jump up to the knees, then jump up to kneeling position and shoot. The only difference is I'm actually shooting with two, two, three rounds with an AR-15 getting rounds down range. But all these things we're doing in, in repetition, form after form after form after form. Okay? So it's much more fun and enjoyable to shoot that way too. I'm gonna start incorporating running. I'm gonna start incorporating lifting heavy things, getting yourself tired, and then bringing your gun forward and shooting. I'm gonna incorporate starting shoot, 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 shoot. Boom, boom, when this is done, you drop it, you drop all your, let's say that's your last round, you drop it, and then you have to extract your pistol. I'm gonna train all that. 